Good morning! Good morning everyone, welcome back to a new little vlog. It is currently Monday the 22nd of January. I'm actually starting a weekly vlog on the first day of the week, which is a little bit of a surprise for me considering my upload schedule and everything's been all over the place, but hopefully. I'm gonna get back on track. I look a bit like a gnome today with this beanie on, but my hair is looking atrocious. I feel like I've had like two hours sleep. My sleep schedule is just all over the place. And me and Anna started watching The Traitors yesterday. I've never even seen it. Like didn't see season one. I didn't really see much hype around season one, but all my TikTok is right now is people talking about The Traitors. So if you haven't seen it, definitely recommend because it is really, really good. We made the mistake of binge watching a bunch of episodes last night and then it got to like 1am and Anna were like right I'm gonna have to go home and go to bed and I should have just took that as okay Byron you also just go to bed but I didn't I literally laid awake watching the traitors for like two more hours and then it got to a point where I was like all right now I actually need to go to bed but because I was so engrossed in what were going on my brain just wouldn't shut off like I laid in bed for a good like hour just like this Anyway, I'm rambling, I'm rambling, I'm rambling. I feel like I've had no sleep, my hair's a mess. The guy came to fix the boiler this morning and now I'm gonna make my breakfast. <laughs> I mean, I've literally still got my pajama trousers on under my tracksuit bottoms because I literally just ran downstairs to answer the door to this man. However, I'm gonna show you what I make for my breakfast. I think this is a little bit rogue and I always enjoy, it's so weird, I always enjoy seeing what people eat for breakfast specifically because I feel like breakfast is the one meal that I don't really have much inspiration for. That like obviously you can make a nice lunch and then a nice dinner. I feel like the dinner or tea, whatever you call it, the last meal like in the evening is always the one that you go all out on. But you can also make like a nice little picky lunch. However, breakfast, I feel like I either have toast with beans or scrambled egg or cereal but as of recently I've been having avocado and tuna very rogue I know very very rogue I feel like you've got to hear me out on this one basically I love a tuna cardo sandwich from Joe and the Juice which is literally tuna and avocado on bread and in fact I also put garlic salt in it <laughs> So it's a concoction of smelly smells that smell smelly. Very rogue. Ah! So satisfying when it comes out so nice. I love it. Oh, this one's not really, oh, I jinxed myself. I feel like this is gonna look like actual baby food because it literally is all just mushed together in a bowl, but it tastes incredible. Ta -da! Sometimes I will actually put cucumber and tomatoes in there, like finely chopped, if I'm feeling really fancy, but I can't be bothered today. In fact, I forgot to make myself my tea. Darn it! Ta -da! Guys, the POA today is I need to go into town and shoot some content for Boohoo. If you watched my last video, you'll have seen in the end of it, I actually did a little Boohoo haul. I need to actually shoot some of the clothes that they sent over, get some content shot for them. And I'm gonna go into town and do that today. I think Anna's gonna come with me. I said we should go, Anna needs to go to the post office and a bunch of other things. So I said, why don't we walk into town? Put on a cute outfit, walk into town. We can go and get some coffee, get some brunch. It'll probably be more like lunch actually by the time we're all dressed and ready to go and we can do the errands that Anna needs to do, shoot some pics, get some content, and just have a nice little mood around town. However, it was a storm last night, and I still think the storm is continuing because there's been like 90 miles per hour winds around Manchester. So I don't know if today is the best day to go out and try and shoot some pictures. But nonetheless, I'm not really doing anything else today. I sort of struck off my morning because I thought the guy coming to fix the boiler or coming to service the boiler were gonna be here a lot longer than he was. And I thought I can't really be like in the middle of filming <laughs> getting undressed and dressed and redressed and filming reels and stuff at the anticipation that this man's gonna walk in and if I've got all my lights and tripods and everything set up somewhere it's just gonna be an awful conversation to have to have <laughs> made it into town. I have successfully shot a couple of images. Anna's done some errands and now, I don't know what we're actually doing. I think we're gonna find somewhere to have some coffee. Oh, Anna wants to look in Mango for some heels. Then we're gonna go get some coffee and a little, 
Oh, very really nice. Maybe we'll get some lunch. Who knows? Boomerang, life's a boomerang. Primark, two pound. I'm thinking on my bedside, put my little rings in. That's rather sweet. Will you carry a calendar and take a hold in it? Yeah. I am gay. Being made a little salmon salad and rice bowl. We're watching the trailer as me and Anna are obsessed with this. We started binge watching it yesterday, like I said, and um, I actually watched this episode last night, so we're re watching it, but delish. And uh, when, when did you stop? Way before that. Oh, way before that. Oh, God, <laughs> bloody hell. I don't know how you think that's going to be easy to crush now. Oh, you cocked that up massively. You want to have a minute until it's done. Have you never heard about trust the process? Byron, well, I don't know about lifting a finger a day as well, have I? I agree. Every time I'm cooking a roast dinner, I'm left to the kitchen on my own. You sit there looking pretty the whole time, twiddling your hair. Looking pretty, it's dinner done then, you can't clean up, no, you've got to sit down, let it go down. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... This dries, this is good. <gasps> <laughs> Anna, your draw pisses me off sometimes. I'll fucking tell it then. <laughs> <laughs> You're vlogging more than me. Um, I'm actually, I am, because I do, I am a stan of your videos, to be honest, so it is good to see them being uploaded. You've not watched, not ever uploaded this I year. tried to watch it last night and you told me off. Because we were watching the trailer. You've not watched my Disney vlog. Oh, that's actually gagging. I've watched Disney vlog. Oh, that's no, really you funny. haven't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... oh, no, we're going to get that better. Do you know what I mean? But... I, d I don't know if it's just in my head, dog should have said it, but you've had a full thing if it's up in your, you don't need oh, to. Oh, my God, What the fuck has it had? Oh. Well, that's best before, but you've had that open how long? But that's not going to be normal milk. For like two months. I don't think it's normal milk, but I think <laughs> it's on the right. It's too bad it was in October. Yeah, but I didn't do it straight after my birthday. It was pretty soon. How would you know that, actually? That is off. I don't know. I don't, think, it, I don't think it's... Because it's not normal milk. I know, I know it's not normal milk, but any sort of ice cream thing... You won't be able to open and leave in the fridge for months. I'm tasting it, but I think I'm only tasting it because you're saying it. I think the last two weeks, I probably slept at Anna's more than I actually have slept in my own bed. And guess what? I look awful. Ah! I just can't be bothered to walk home. And it is like 2am. We fully catched up on the trailers now, so we actually have no new episodes to watch, which is quite upsetting. But we also have realised finals on Friday, so once the finals be in, we actually have all of season one to watch. So I'm not too upset because I will get to watch more of it. But I'm really intrigued to see who's going to win it. So that's going to be really fun. We just put Freaky Friday on to fall asleep to. I'm going to hit the hay. I'm going to go to sleep. Night. <laughs> Good morning everyone. Yesterday was a complete write-off for me. I spent the entire day, well to be fair I had quite a productive day in the sense I did a lot of things that I needed to do around the house. Did a bunch of errands but mentally and physically I just were not in a great headspace. I obviously stayed at Anna's on Monday night and obviously planned on vlogging the rest of the week but yesterday I just, I don't know what it was don't know what it was. I feel like it's so bizarre. Going through a breakup, you feel like you're actually grieving someone and it catches you really, really off guard. I've never been in a relationship before, so maybe this is gonna happen every time, which I hope it doesn't. Do I even get into it? Do I wanna speak about it? Maybe we'll speak about it. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's my dreams that keep kicking me in the arse and setting my day up wrong. Or I don't know if you can tell in my voice, I said in the last vlog that 
I keep getting this random cold out of nowhere and I'm fine for a few days and I feel absolutely like death. You can hear it in my throat and I can feel it in my nose and my face. I just feel like I've got a cold again and my temperature last night were ridiculous. I was waking up in the middle of the night with absolute hot sweats, like soaking wet. Like I literally peeled my vest off my chest because I was wet through. So I don't know what's going on there, but I don't know if that also was like sneaking into my body yesterday and I just were a bit run down. I feel like I don't want to talk too much about the fact that obviously I went for a really hard breakup last year and even though it's been months we've been split up for months it still keeps catching me really really off guard and really really intensely which I hate to even admit I don't even want to admit it to myself and I, which I don't know why I don't know why I have this battle with myself because I'm like why are you so upset like you were done dirty move on from it but for some reason I just have these days where it just feels like the saddest shit in the entire world I just can't wrap my head around how I end up in this position with someone I never thought I was going to be in this position with. And yesterday was just hell. And I think as well, I've been really putting off going through a lot of stuff in my room. Obviously, we lived here together. So there are things everywhere in this flat. I just feel like I've not been able to have like a fresh, a fresh slate as such. Because I've not mentally been in a position where I wanted to like go through everything in my room. Like it even sounds so silly. I know when I clean my wardrobe out, there's gonna be bits and bobs of his that were still here. We bought each other a bunch of jelly cats. I obviously still have my jelly cats that he bought me, which just stuffed teddies, but I just shoved them to the back of my wardrobe. They used to be on my bed every day, and I just shoved them to the back of my wardrobe, and I've known they've been in there, and every time I get ready, I see a little bit of one of them's leg, and I'm like, oh. But I think I just need to bite the bullet and get rid of, or just move everything. Not necessarily get rid of, I'm really a sentimental person. I can't really get rid of anything. So I think I'm just gonna put everything in a box, in my bed, under my bed, sorry. But I need to do it because I feel like I can't have a clean, clean slate without just giving myself a clean slate. How am I meant to have a clean slate if nothing around me is giving clean slate? My room's a mess, it's over cluttered, there's shit everywhere. I feel ill. <sighs> Don't know what is going off with this year so far. Well, I've got myself dressed and ready now. I am just wearing a very casual little outfit. I'm liking this beanie. I can't tell if beanies suit me or not, but I feel like I'm trying to force the narrative that beanies suit me, but I don't know if they do. Anyway, I am about to tackle the mess that is in fact my bedroom. I'm really gonna actually deep clean gut, get rid of everything. And I don't know where to start. I do not know where to start at all. I wish I could click my fingers and it all just disappears because I know for a fact that even the stuff that I put away to put on Vinted, where am I keeping it? Like until it's sold, where is it going? Oh, stay up. Oh my god, I've put myself a ring light under that. I am such a bad bitch. The underneath of my bed, I actually organised quite recently, actually. However, I feel like I weren't as brutal as I probably could have been. I've just got stuff that I just don't need. I have my backpack that I had since high school. This Kankan backpack that I absolutely loved and adored that I will never wear again. Why have I carried it from my parents' house to my first uni house to my second uni house to then when I moved to Manchester to then when I moved out of my first house in Manchester into this house? I still have it and I've not used it since high school. So this is what the underneath of my bed currently looks like. I've got two vacuum bags here. As you can see, that I just fill with clothes that I clearly haven't used in a very, very long time as they wouldn't be in these vacuum bags. Just lots of random things. So we're gonna go through it all. I need to get black bags immediately. It's just ridiculous. Like this, my friend Ella, when I moved to uni, bought her own set of shampoo and conditioner because she has curly hair. Bought her own set of shampoo and conditioner to leave at my uni accommodation so when she came and visited me, she could wash her hair. I actually think it's been like six years. In fact, I moved to uni when I was 18, I'm now 24. It's been six years since Ella bought these shampoo and conditioners and I still have them under my bed. It's nearly empty. Why? Oh, and if you've ever, ever considered getting contact lenses, but you are a very similar person to me, who signs themselves up to things and then doesn't cancel any sort of direct debit, monthly membership, anything when it comes to doing anything with your life. This is what I mean. 
I feel like for the past couple of years, mentally, I've not been in a great place because I've just been collecting clutter. So if anyone ever wants contact lens solution, I don't even need glasses. I went to an optician appointment recently and um, they actually told me to stop wearing my glasses and my contact lenses, which I had done like two years ago anyway. But I never cancelled the monthly direct debit or the monthly subscription of contact lenses being sent to me. So I have all this solution that I just don't need. Because guess what? I don't even need to wear glasses. <sighs> like these all are out of date. On the 19th of January, 2021. The 10th of July, 2020. What about this one? The 18th of January, 2024. It is now the 24th of January, 2024. So this one, unfortunately, has just expired as well. Guys, I've got to the hard part. Oh, I've got a memory box under my bed. And it's all like the cards and letters and everything. <sighs> this is why I've been putting off doing this. Because I know in this box, I've not looked in this box for a while. For a very long time, actually. In fact, I've never actually really gone through it since I put the first thing in here. And I've just like every letter and card I got from my ex-boyfriend, I always just put in this box. <sighs> oh... And it's just not nice. There's so much in here that I forgot even existed. Basically, the box is falling apart. I want to move it out of this box into a smaller box just so it's less just all over the place. So I'm just going through it, sorting it out, basically. I don't know why I'm reading the cards, but I'm reading the cards and some of them are like from when we pretty much first met. And just the way it's written and stuff to like the reality of now is just so horrible. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, but I feel like I need to do this. Get it done. Once everything's in this box, it's in this box. And I know people probably think I should throw it away, but there's just like three years worth of my life in this box. <sighs> I just don't ever want to be in this situation ever again, honestly. My first ever relationship, and I think it will be my last. I think I give too much of myself to situations like this, evidently to the point where I don't have anything left for myself, which is great whilst it is great. But then as soon as it's not, I'm literally sat under my bed sobbing. <laughs> Guys, I do apologise for this taking a very emotional turn. I've calmed down a little bit now and I've actually gone through all the stuff that I need to go through. That was just quite hard. I didn't expect that to be as hard as it was. What I figured out whilst I was doing it, like, I'm like, why am I so emotional? And obviously, it make, like, it's not why, because it's very obvious why I'm so emotional. Like, I spent three years with this boy. But I think just reading things and seeing things that, like, just little silly things that I remember, like, oh, when we, when we went first to that place, or, like, when we did that, or, like, our first Christmas together, I've kept the little tags from, like, what he wrote on the plates at dinner, and, like, just stupid shit like that. that actually physically doesn't look like a lot but like sparks a memory instantly that's obviously why you keep things like that and just knowing how great things were then versus not only now but like towards the end of our relationship it's just so like such worlds apart that's what's just sad but i understand we can't be together and whatever else but that is quite hard coming to terms with that and i'm probably gonna hate myself for being that vulnerable and honest that's all i can do Anyway, I'm pretty much done with under my bed. If I had a cold and snotty nose before starting this, now I absolutely do have a snotty nose and sound like I've God knows what. I did say to myself this year I weren't going to cry and be sad online. But I do think sometimes it's important. And also this helps me a lot, like just talking without a response in the moment. Like me just sat down talking to my camera. It feels like such a relief and like I'm talking to someone but without getting a response back, which sometimes I think everyone needs. It feels like just writing all my thoughts and feelings down on a piece of paper. But also there's a kind of comfort in knowing that maybe someone else can also find comfort in hearing this. Not only is it like helping me, hopefully maybe. It'll help someone else. I need to blow up my snotty nose.